Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to introduce you to one of the larger species of brinkier palms, which has gained a considerable popularity in the instant pet hobby. This crustacean is the long-tailed tadpole shrimp, scientifically known as Triops longicaudatus. The name of the species is actually quite descriptive. Triops are derived from Greek words meaning three and eye, as it refers to its three eyes. Triops can generally be found worldwide in climates similar to the Mediterranean. However, the long-tailed tadpole shrimp is the most widespread species among the Nautostrakans. It is native to the Neartic and Neotropical biogeographical realms. Primarily, Triops longicaudatus is found in the Americas, but it has also been introduced in places like Hawaii and Japan. The long-tailed tadpole shrimp inhabits ephemeral pools across a range of habitats, typically appearing during the warm season. Now, when it comes to raising them in captivity, I use a substrate composed of sand, compost, and calcium carbonate. After setting up the tank and introducing the eggs, they usually hatch within a 24-hour period, and they grow quite rapidly. During this life stage, I do not add any food or any other substances. Instead, I allow them to feed on the detritus and compost present in the tank. After about one to two weeks, they will reach sexual maturity and start producing eggs. They will continue to grow until they reach full size. Once they are much bigger, I usually provide them with a variety of food sources. That includes fish pellets, vegetables, and sometimes insects. They are actually quite aggressive feeders, so if there's something available to eat, they will actually eat each other. Now, when it comes to reproduction, interestingly enough, most triops reproduce via parthogenesis, which means they can produce clones of themselves. However, a portion of triops are gonochoric, meaning both female and male individuals are present in the population. Now, let's talk about the features of triops longicaudatus. First off, Triops are taxonomically complex, therefore, using characteristics to identify the species is not the most reliable. The best way to identify them, aside from genetic analysis, is by their location. Generally, this species is characterized by its elongated, segmented body, a flattened shield-like carapace covering two-thirds of the thorax, and two long filaments on the abdomen. The body varies in color. However, tribes range in size from 10 to 40 millimeters. So, as you can see, I have a range of triop lineages with many variations. The behaviors of this species may vary among the lineages, but generally, this is a benthic species that spends most of its time sifting through the substrate at the bottom of the habitat. I've even noticed different behaviors in the egg laying. Some may lay their eggs in clusters on hard surfaces, while others will distribute their eggs evenly throughout the substrate. Well, this is all the information that I have for this species, but if you want to see more tribe lineages, please let me know and I can make more videos. And feel free to watch the remaining clips, and as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.